the What To Next podcast helps to build a TBR of future favorite books. In each episode, Lori and Maine interviews authors and book influencers to recommend books they love for you to pick up today. If you're an avid reader, always looking for your next great read, then the show. Hi, Jennifer. Welcome to What To Next podcast. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So happy to have you here. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I am a romance writer. I write sweet romance stories, kind of like Hallmark movies uh, set in the low country. I love this. So what allowed you to start writing romance? Like, were you a romance reader? Or you're like, you know, this is something you always look great for love stories when you're writing. You're like, I want to see these characters together, you know? So... Interestingly enough, um, my first series that I wrote was a cozy mystery series. And quite frankly, I thought it was quite easy just to kill somebody and then spend, you know, 65,000 words trying to figure out who done it, right? Because you have three suspects and it's pretty much a formulary. Yeah. Writing romance is really hard. Being having to write over 65,000 words about a couple that likes each other, doesn't like each other, likes each other, maybe likes each other, doesn't like each other, and maybe likes each other in the end, it is really hard. <laughs> so um, I have to say, writing a romance is very challenging. Hats off to all the great romance writers out there. Um, I hope to be one one, one day, um, but um, I love Hallmark movies. I love romance novels. I started reading romance novels as a teen. Danielle Steele was the first romance writer I've ever read, and I still read her to this day. So um, I've always had a fondness for romance novels. I love this. All right, we got to talk about Serendipity by the Sea. So tell us the elevator page. So Serendipity by the Sea is the first book in a series. Um, It's the Gull Island Sweet Romance series. And the first book is about Kate and Knox. They both grew up on my fictional island of Gull Island, which is actually um, the inspiration behind Gull Island came from Fripp Island. I don't know if you're familiar with it. Um, It's called Fripp Island, South Carolina. We went there as a family on a family vacation, and I fell in love with the locale, and I thought it'd be the perfect place to set a romance. However, I decided to make my own town, Gull Island, uh, so that I could add some some different things to make it all my own. And the story is about Kate Knox. Uh, Kate is up for a big promotion. She works at Get Services. She helps the people check in when they come to the beautiful island of Gull Island set in the low country, a coastal town, and she's up for a very big promotion. And all of a sudden, her ex comes strolling into town. His name is Knox Price. And he's into town. He's in town to help uh, with his uncle, who um, needs some, is having some surgery. And she can't believe she sees her ex. He walked away years ago and didn't explain why they broke up. And here he is back in town. And he is a, a freelance photographer. So he has his dreams and desires just like she does. And the two of them, of course, they meet and they sit, try to figure out, is there, are they going to have a second chance at romance or is their romance done? Yeah. And more will be real. And you just take us on an emotional journey. (laughs) Absolutely. (laughs) So very exciting thing. So what kind of books do you tend to read and do they influence your writing? Sure. I love to read uh, thrillers. I read romance. Um, I read mystery. I love a good um, nonfiction every once in a while. Um, But basically, I like to read what I write, which is cozy mysteries and romances. But I have to say, I have a soft spot in my heart for thrillers. I really like to um, read thrillers. And I actually like to listen on audiobook more than I like to actually pick up a book and read. I'm a very busy mom. I... um, I do have two grown sons, but um, I work full time during the day and I write romance novels at night. So I like to listen to audiobooks in the car or as I'm folding the laundry or food shopping, wherever it might be. So uh, I love listening to audiobooks. Yeah, I'm an audiobook yeah. listener too. So are you too? Yes. Yeah, it's it's so nice just to be like, I'm running errands. It makes the errands go faster. Like it makes like start, it makes a pickup, like delivery, like pickup for things. You're like, oh, we're going to food shopping, grocery shopping. We're like, oh, I'm listening to my audiobook. Like, who knows That's what they're right. listening? You know, it's like it just makes it much more pleasant, you know. 
And especially you get hooked with certain narrators. Yeah. So I have I have my favorites of like, I'm sure you do too. And if I know that a certain narrator is reading a book, I gravitate towards that book because I like the way he or she reads. So yeah. it's very exciting. So do you have any book or books to recommend our listeners to pick up? I have some, a lot of good books. Um, the first one I decided to, that I would focus on the latest thrillers that I've read. Um, the house guest, have you read that book? Mm -hmm. Do you know? I'm oh, okay. By Hank. And I guess it's Philippi. I'm not really sure. Ryan. And mm -hmm. um, I love these books. Um, her books. I especially love this one because there's so many twists and turns and a jaw dropping end that you just don't see coming. The cover is gorgeous in itself. Um, there's a woman with a hat on the front and it's just mysterious and just drew me in just by the cover. You know, they say you can't judge a book by a cover, but I do think you can. <laughs> <laughs> and this one really hooked me uh, just by the cover. Absolutely, it did. I love this. Oh, so exciting. Um, so tell us where you can find you online. You can find me online at jennifervito.com. There's my website. You can also find me on Twitter at jennifervito, um, V-I-D-O. You can find me on Instagram at jenvito. Facebook, Jennifer Vito, author, and my book, Serendipity by the Sea, is available wherever books are sold. Thank you, Jennifer, for being on the show. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. If you enjoyed this podcast, feel free to share with friends, subscribe, rate, and review the show. This is the easiest way to support the podcast. For a list of books mentioned and other book recommendations, please visit whatreadnextblog.com. Thank you so much for listening and happy reading.